Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Joe Button has entered the building oh, on Ebro in the morning. Give it up for Joe Button. Hi, Joe Button. It's time. It's time. A lot to deal with. A lot to deal with this morning. Uh... Uh, Laura Styles Rosenberg is here. We even have uh, a Marissa Mendez sitting in because there's a, another storyline. Another is, one. Another one that if you don't listen to the podcast and podcast world, we'll bring you into that. Okay. All right. So first things first. Joe, Drake. It all started, you wanted to motivate Drake for oh, bars. That's cares? how the whole who, thing started. Who cares? Who cares? No, no, no. But we got to, I want to recap we, we've it. We've done this every day for however many months now. You, y'all recapped it every day. Y'all know what happened. Let's talk about it. But for the audience, it doesn't. All right. So just, but, what, but you could just say it. You do that, know that part, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm yeah, setting it up. But then it, it went. It but then it went into five different freestyles going at Drake. Four. Four. Come on, Abra. Seven. What... Was that your intention when you set out to do it, or you just really had that much material and shit you wanted to get off your chest? No, I just rap. Just go. Just rap. Just rap. Rap. Yeah, that's all it is. Just rapping. And was there? And do you feel some type of way that Drake never responded? He to did what? respond. He responded multiple times. Yeah, he did respond. Right? I, don't, I don't want to defend Joe Budden today, but he did respond. He did In respond. what way? The pump it up, pump it up on the record. Well, that was longer than that. he did. Like multiple. That's like a, several bars that are about Joe. And well, which other one? I don't remember. Well, that, that initiated it all. That. And I responded. I think that part gets lost. Got it. My, he initiated this, but because of the business attached to that record, it took a while to come out. Because it was a, what was it, a snap it or something? It was a something. Snapchat, right? That was leaked? Yeah, yeah Snapchat yeah. came out. Yeah. It was a, it was a, it was a, they, put a, they put a clip on Instagram and Snap with just that pump it up part. That was in May. That was like May 13th or something mm-hmm. like that. Um, and, uh, I wanted to hear the record at that point. Right. I didn't know what was happening with the record. Right, right, and when right. I heard the record, well, then it was on. So what don't we know about why he initiated? Like why all of a, why all of a sudden? I don't know. I would assume I would assume it it was from the album review on the podcast. I, I would assume that. Got it. I'm going through something similar with Party right now. Who's in my DM? What's Party mad about? Uh, I'm not going to say he's mad, but I don't I don't know. Oh, know. but you did reference Party on that record. Yeah, Party's album came out today. Go right. go pick it up. Uh, You're a fan. Party 3, yeah. And didn't you say, like, Party, some... Well, you had a line. You had a lot. You had lines about Party. Uh, we want a Party album. Right. But you keep stealing all the Party's album to go, oh. and, to go and put it on your Party album. Because Party has also wrote work and wrote a lot of records that Drake uses and... Uh, yeah, I would think that uh, a lot of people from that camp. I think they they're work, all right. I think yeah, I think they work right. in concert. Right, right, right. It's just some of the best records. <laughs> just go certain places. <laughs> yeah, but that's none of my business. I'm not signed to OVO. I can care less what they do at OVO. Right. Unlike the media keeps trying to portray, I'm not as obsessed with Drake as y'all think I am. Well, for, but the, only the, a little bit. Yeah. Well, here's the thing though. The reason I made fun of it at least was I've never you, four records is a lot on one subject, right? That's not common. You don't see that every day in rap sort of uh, lyrical battles like that. That wasn't one subject. What would they all? What do you mean? They 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 all were not the same subject at all. But wasn't Drake the focal think, point of all of them? Yeah, but there's, he's the biggest artist in the world, so there's plenty to say about him. This speaks to your point, Ebro, hmm. about everything related to Joe Budden, that you believe Joe is a troll and likes to work well, the I, media. I, I, well, there's several layers to this for me personally, right? Because I didn't listen to all the freestyles, so I'm not going to profess to know all the details, right? Mm-hmm. There was one particular one that I really enjoyed. I don't. It might have been the fourth one. That third or fourth. The one. third or fourth one that I thought was really well done. Probably and one verse one. from the first one, I thought the last, the verse, last was, verse was the most poignant and direct, right? It was. Um, but I do know that Drake's style of, for lack of a better term right now, emo rap, if you will, being very transparent, being very emotional, being very loving hip-hop, right, and being about bars, but also being about melody and being about these things, Joe Button did on mixtapes very well and is, for the, not the mainstream, but the underground fan, mm. the internet fan, are super fans of Joe for mood music or his relationship with Tahiri on YouTube and this kind of whole transparent way of being an emotional rapper. That's what your brand became after the early releases on Def Jam. Well, it was that then. It was well. that then it was too, that but then. it was more marketed a bit honed in. Well, right, I and, guess. Pump, and Pump It Up mm-hmm. changed, was such a big hit that it sort of changed yeah, I think, everything. I think Pump It Up changed the uh, general public's. And I perception. do know that. Drake was a fan of your material then. I think him and I are, are fans of each other and respect each other. Now, 
So, mm. so that's I guess the part for the audience that needs to be kind of tied together is that you know those those people who don't necessarily follow it as close as the internet need to understand that there is some respect there musically. One hundred percent. Well, I've I've been documented. Yeah. You know, I, I was early on that on that Drake wave. I was early on a party wave. I was early on a few waves. I'm on the side of music right. always. Always. Not not people. So when I enjoy the music, I enjoy the music, and I think probably my review of that album made him feel the way well it had to he responded in a rap to a podcast and and so and going back to your review of views which is critically acclaimed and has broke all types of numbers etc cetera, etc cetera, which doesn't mean anything in the is it critically acclaimed people love that album but is it critically acclaimed no. there's critics who I don't acclaim, think it there's critics who acclaim it yeah but it wasn't yeah but that's not I'm not trying to be a acclaimed. jerk or a Drake hater but it, it, it wasn't like critically acclaimed to pimp a butterfly was critically acclaimed yeah. I'm not trying to just bring up Kendrick but that's what the easiest one that comes to your mind whatever it was a popular album it's a popular album yes. and sales and metrics don't necessarily mean quality music right And but your critique of views was more based in lack of rhymes yes and substance and substance and content all the things that I was a fan of from this particular artist. When were you a big fan of him, substance-wise? Because I've never—that's one thing I think Drake's always sort of, to me, he's always been like fun. When you guys say substance, what do you say? Like lyrics that have it, it, things to them. Like there's, there's actually something really. Not, not necessarily important for the world, but with some real meaning to it. But that's the like the emotion. But oh, for, for you to say that, then you would have to be unfamiliar with uh, all of the comeback seasons, so far gone. Take care. Uh, thank me later. After take care is when it got a little. What was he talking about up till then? That was everything, everything, everything in terms of what? Every single thing that was going on with him. With him, he divulged. Right, with but him. not got socially. All of it. Yeah, see that's and that's the part where I'm not as necessarily interested. But that is. But that's substance. But that is yeah, that is and that's, that's introspection. Laura, that's substance to you and introspection to you. Well, yes, I'm going absolutely. by the context of the English language. So when you say Laura to you. I'm going by the word introspection substance. when you look oh, it up. Right, 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 right. And substance as well. But substance is subjective when you talk about music. Because I can tell you at this point right now, hearing about Drake's personal life at this point is not substance to me. Hearing about a rich guy's personal issues and how he gets emotional about fucking different women every night. You, I'm saying, for, I could argue that's not substance. That's not substance, and that's my point. Or not substantive. Okay. That, but that, that, that is, that's that is substantive life. to his life, though. No, no. I'm, I'm from the school of more money, more problems. Like, I know what goes on. I know what goes on. When you have that type of success, right. there's more to talk about than the different women. Uh, you don't think he's actually getting into the shit he's that he's really doing. So, and, and, and basically, from a, an insider's perspective, you're saying, I don't believe you on this on this album. Yeah. I don't believe you're sharing with the audience the same way you used to share, and yeah. thus you need and to you get And you know what's funny? Up. Because of my respect for him, I tried to say that in the most polite way but Joe, all you said could. was that you felt that he was uninspired, right? I said he sounded uninspired. You were yelling, though. No? I mean, it was. Well, a yeah, he was. You were yelling and sweating, and you needed. I was like, why? Was why do you have your shirt off? But <laughs> it was hot. It was aggressive. Your shirt, was like, your shirt was actually aggressive. off? If you see someone, no, I had a tank top on. It was hot. Shirt off, Jay. He was trolling me. He's trolling me in person in the morning. Your shirt was off. You were yelling. Well, he was like, Ebro, Ebro. Normally, normally when people are sweating and they have a tank top on, it's probably the temperature. Where they are, yeah, true. but he, Dick but he, you do, you do turn. <laughs> he does turn it on though. He knows how to be a showman when it comes yeah, to you know drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, thank you, Peter. Such kind words. You have a flair for the dramatic. So that's the Drake thing. And so where is it? Where is it today? With Drake, nowhere. It's just. Dead. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a, a non-issue for me. It's been dead for me. Uh, at this point, it's the fans and the media keeping this going. I don't have any more bars for him. That's it. Well, I do, but <laughs> I'm not putting in there. Yeah, no. You realize that there have been enough? You think you, you think you I don't enough? think there's been enough. I had a grand so, presentation to get to, but he ruined it. Well, how did he ruin it? We couldn't get to the end because he kept DMing me. I now he told me, and I talked about this on the air. I know you got in a lot of trouble, you guys. When can I do when can I interview you? I want to interview later you. Later today. I have yeah, no problem fine, with that. That's fine. Um he told me that he DM'd you, but he was just asking you if it, you were okay in this tough time. And that, that's why you haven't actually put the I feel DMs like he's out. pulling up the DMs. I know, Joe Bun. By the way, I'm glad to know Drake, Drake is checking his DMs because he's got a lot listed for me that are have gone unreplied. I mean, he'll get, he'll get around. He's a busy guy. He's man. not getting around to them. He's a busy guy. The last one, I think, was really, so that's how it's going to be. He's a busy guy. If Let's that see. was the point, and if that was the point in DMing me, I missed it. 
I miss right. the joke. I miss the I miss the underlying motive. I miss the Are you okay? You're not doing well. It just was weird and creepy. Got to it. me. Can I, so, do you want me to read these? No, yeah, I don't want. Can you I? To can I look to them? I do. Want, I'm curious. I, I don't, I don't, the audience wants me to read them. Yeah, of course they do. He, in there is what Drake said. He said though. He did say that. I hope you're doing well in that. In tough time, other things are said there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, other things are said there. Yeah, but, he but was when not... you, yeah, but when you send me a, a a DM saying I hope you're doing well in tough times, I don't know what tough times you're referring to. Well, there has been rumors circulating that um, you're on drugs. There and hasn't been any rumor. drinking. There and... hasn't been any rumors circulating about that. There's no one more in tune to what the rumor wire is saying than me. Those, those, there's no I mean, rumors. I've seen it on Twitter. I mean, in in regard to time out time. in Twitter, yes, I know. Okay, it doesn't count. Okay. But okay. but in the in the world of clickbait and whatever, when you're putting out these diss records and people are going, "Yo, Joe must be on drugs again," blah 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 blah. Why? Right? Why must Joe be on drugs again? Because man, you're putting talk, out man. diss people records. Talk. Um, okay, you're savvy enough to be able to shift through. What well, yeah, say. but if people would be savvy enough to know that when I was no. talking about a joke conversation. I said you're savvy, and then you went to people are savvy. The uh, general public is not well, okay, savvy. Okay, well, well, we're getting past two things. So I still want, I, I want to finish enough. the Fair DMs enough. Fair enough. before we, there's uh, other talk. I, I don't understand what you mean by the DMs. Cause I actually think I wanted Ammo, because based on everything that happened with us and Drake, to be like, oh, he's being a fake piece of shit. But like, I actually think that his DMs that he sent, you were true to the same thing that he said to him. Maybe. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't guess somebody's intent. I can only say how it came off. So I, to me, it came off to so him. So the point was to come off insulting. I missed it. He came off insulting. Initially, he came off as nice, and he was like trying Passive to make aggressive. It, well, I thought he was kind of trying to break bread and maybe make it cool. You were kind of a dickhead back, which is not shocking. And then he was then a dickhead back, and then y'all just played. I've never seen people just playing racquetball in DMs like that, being dickheads back and forth to each other. That's how. I, that's how I saw it. I think he extended a hand, and you were like, "Get your hand out of here." If you That's want how me I to be it. perfectly honest. Are, are we, we are we cursing? I don't know if this yeah, is for yeah, online. Yeah, go ahead, or curse. Or we'll we'll clean it up. Oh, okay, you're a great guy. If we're being perfectly honest, I I don't give a fuck about the Drake stuff. I don't care what his point was. I don't care what he meant. I don't care. I don't care about any of it. But you you can't say you don't care when you make four records. I cared when I made four records. Oh, I don't today. care now. Today, you're currently. beyond it today. Yeah, That's yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but it, I, it I was, think it's worth. I think with all of this, I think week's, my point was proven. See, which, I, I had a point. I would have loved to get to my my finale, which was. Oh no, I can't say that. In you got to wait. OVO niggas start acting up again. So but, you got to uh, save it. You got to save the finale and the stash. Oh yeah, I'm, I'd, I'd ruin hip hop. I'd ruin hip hop. How what? would you ruin? Uh, why? You why? About? What do you mean? I just know a lot. That's all. Oh, I just know. A lot, but here's the thing, guy Joe. A lot of people say they know a lot about Drake, I don't, and it seems like there's so many people waiting people for Drake, say. but no one ever pulls the trigger on this supposed thing they have. I don't know what a lot of people say, and I didn't say I would ruin Drake. Drake is a superstar, a pop superstar. He has transcended hip hop. There's nothing that anybody in hip hop can do single handedly to ruin him. Facts. That's just a fact. We talked about that this week. I mean, yes. Nobody's oblivious to that. No, well, he knows that. That's that's the thing that I. That's the thing that annoys me about Drake. He's a, he's a good guy, but he knows how important he is, and he uses people when it makes sense for him, and then can push and pull with people as he will. And it's not just me being a bitch who's DM'd him fifty times. He doesn't reply to it. I know of this with many people who had the same thing. Oh, I had a rapport with him too. Just kind of stopped talking to me. Kind of came back, pulls you in, pushes you. And like back. I always r remind everybody in this room that we work with, there's two seasons in this game. There's seasons when I need you and you need me. That's what the game is. Some, but the seasons where the seasons where his season has just been very long, long. and it frustrates I mean, people. Everybody it's, just needs, I get it. I get everybody it. just needs to relax. That season everybody is just and needs congratulations. To relax. That season's unprecedented. His season is unprecedented. He's, I give him full credit and, where credit is. And like due. I said this week on the show, Drake has done a lot for hip hop. Yes. I agree. There's a no lot question. For hip -hop. He's taken and us to a lot reason, of And the only reason I even told the joke about the fact that we were joking around about the Eminem come stepping up for Joe Button and everything is because we knew it's not it would never be a thing. Right. That's the only reason well, why it was worth even telling the story was when because things are read though. They're read without content. Concept. Yes. So and totally. see I didn't yeah. and but yeah. by the way, I, I didn't put out that audio that day. We didn't promote that as something we talked about that day. Other people with other agendas took that and put that out That's because they knew the talk of that right, would be right. clickbait. That's what normally happens. Yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. I mean, that's look, I enjoyed the promo. Anybody. There was not a second in here that I didn't laugh about it. But I, and I'm sure Drake didn't even listen to what you said exactly. Which I'm is why, sure. I didn't, which is why, when he was taking, you know, look, we all talked. We 
understand why he's going at Flex. Flex has been going right, at right, him. Right. right? We all get it and are cool with it. It wasn't until you want to bring up Summer Jam and talk about what we do for this city that I'm even going to give you a rib shot and tell you to relax and warn you, yo, congratulations, you played yourself. If you think you've done anything in the zone of what this brand and Summer Jam has done for New York City and hip hop. That's just a new cool thing to say. What? Uh, That your shit is Summer Jam. What have you done for New York? Or what have you done for New York? Yeah, it's a cool thing to say. But don't you know? We, but it's love, like you well, know, jab, jab, th- hug, hug. We done. We move on. Right. But let me just. But let me just be clear. While we're having a conversation that people will probably pay attention to about this subject, he does things that irritate people. It's not as simple as people just hating on him. Like he is a good dude and he's super talented. He's a troll too, though. But, it, 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 but I'm saying he, he's an actor. You need. He, he is an actor and, and he does one. certain things that need to be. Uh, he, yo, like you, he, he's done shit where he's worked with people and then he sort of shits on them a little bit and it's happened over and over again. It's not like, like I've always said a million times, whether it's removing Bun B from a verse and just leaving an ad lib. By the way, Bun B's never complained about that. That's my complaint as a fan, right? I know we did a whole verse. You left in one little ad lib. Whether it's saying, yo, I grew up on Little Brother. I'm gonna do a Fonte record. Fonte sends you a record. Where's the fucking record? He says a lot of things to get credit for them and doesn't follow up. Right, so he does a lot of amazing, great things for hip hop. He does, but there's a lot of little extra shit that he doesn't do. And when and you're this, up. and when you're this popular, people can critique you. I'm sure there's a lot of artists that have done similar things, but because they're not at this level, it never became a big conversation. When you're at this level, people have expectations. Nah, I don't think it's a lot of artists that have done similar things. Yeah, let's, like let's let, name some. Yeah, because Hove Hove is the opposite, right? Like, let's be clear. Drake puts on people who are about to blow on their own. He gets stands next mm. to them. Boom, they're out of here. Hove did shit like, yo, I'm gonna jump Put on Drake it. on a record when Drake was about to blow. He he signed MOP. He got on an OC. Well, he's record. done that too. But he, he's, he didn't sign MOP. He did. Who? Hove. Yeah, they did. They had a. Oh please. G Unit and Rock. They had a Rockefeller deal. I'm just saying he, that wasn't nothing. Yeah, that's, that was that's, Dame Dash. Whatever. What, I'm saying. What do you mean? Whatever. He, and put let's them not, on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And put them on a record. Let's just be multiple fair. records. Hove has been accused of the same. Thing. It was a little pocket wig where I'd, I'd like to think that Drake probably learned a lot of that from Hove, but Hove is just real good at it. It was a time where Hove stood really close to Jeezy. It was a time where Hove stood really close to Ross. There was a time when Hove stole all the Snoop slang. Did these things happen? I'm well versed in in hip hop. And by and the way, I, nothing you're saying there's wrong. So so. I mean, so that, to my point, so a that, lot of people, so a lot of artists happened, have done. It. I think done a bit more covertly than we're seeing now, but we love Drake so much, and I'm included in that. I'm almost upset that I've positioned myself in this way where it seems like I do not, because I love, love, I'm always on the music side. People who pay attention to you, though, you've been pretty open about loving Drake. Like, you're honestly the oldest person I know who loves Drake as much as you do. I say it with all due respect. I'm on, well, I'm I'm on, I'm on nah, the side, know, I like I'm on, I'm on but the you side don't sit, of good I, music. I like I me some Drake. I like me. Some Good Drake. music is good music. You sit around listening to Drake album. Guys? Take care is in my little playlist. Well, you you married. You've been married for quite some time. Niggas, right, niggas with hoes. We we listen to Drake sometimes. <laughs> okay, all right. And You're right. I can it. identify. Hey, I, I, know, know. I, mean, I can identify. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I like right. me some Drake, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's hard. Sorry, man. All right, man. All right I feel you. <laughs> All right, that's a lot, of Drake, it's a lot of Drake talk. We should move on. All right, so other we things. covered that. All right, so Joe, in this and also... we didn't have I, to cover it. I want to be perfect. We needed to cover he it. He wanted to. We needed to vet it. In, in this process, I, I texted you and was like, yo, you have an actual single mm-hmm. that I don't think is Fab and... Uh, Tory. Tory Lanez. And Tory Lanez. Uh, Flex, produced by A-Rab Music. A-Rab's in machine, the building. Machine, What's up, machine, sir? Come on, Machine. Come sit with me. You that's what, they, that's with what the cool people call him? Machine. That's what I call. Him. Oh, because he'd be on. Because of the group. That's the. That's his. I don't know. He has Tell a group me. with him. It's like Dickhead in the Machine or something. I forget what what it is. <laughs> Dickhead in the Machine. I think that's the name Wait, of the group. What? what? That, that's vulgar, man. No, it's Rage like, in the Machine. I'm Rage. He's the Machine. Yeah, I was just Peter calling him. Di- attempting to insult. I'm me. calling him a Dickhead and showing him love as the Machine. Part yeah, of it. Yo, I want to. So post it's produced this by A Rap Music. So oh. I want to play the record, right? Because that's still the focus right we got to play that's the record all, for the always the focus but i didn't know in the in the in the pro, in the that's promotion cause that's because you're mainstream yeah, facts. facts say that based on facts man say yeah. it again no you're mainstream remind <laughs> everyone i like I'm, that i'm not i'm not, I'm not so mainstream i love so, it so you maybe want to i made it out crazy i'm here i made it out 
<laughs> Wait, who's, who ever said that you weren't mainstream? No, I, no, oh, I'm joking. No, no, they get oh. mad at him and think that he like should. It doesn't represent enough, as if Hot 97 Morning Show is an underground show. I don't think being uh, being mainstream is an insult. Like, not yeah. to us. I mean, people use it as a shot. It always has been used in hip hop. You know what's as a funny? Shot. It's the the shot to me is when people say you're not mainstream. Exactly, like, being underground could be. Oh, you're so good underground. And, and I'd be like. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm not. I, I didn't really want to be that. All right, let's play Flex, man. This is uh, Joe Button, Fab, Tory Lanez. An interesting choice for a collab because he's also always going at Drake as well. I have no idea about what he does in his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> Just play the song. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of him as well. I'm a fan yeah, he's of He's a great Fab writer, man. The music great, came out amazing. Kid. Stop trying to fucking uh, divert, <laughs> divert my narrative to Drake all the time. Flex. So Joe Button, Rage in the Machine Project this September. This is Ooh, Flex featuring right. Tory Lanez. Radio voice. Old, old morning show. Can you shut the fuck up, Jeter, for two seconds? Can you, can you save all of your fucking built up tension for later? We can address you later. Marissa won't stop looking at the screen. Y'all are fucking weirdos. Hey, so uh, Rage in the Machine, he Joe started, Button, uh, A Rap Music he here. This is the new started, single Flex featuring Fab, featuring yeah. Tory Lanez, and it's lit. All right, so Joe, the next piece of, of the conversation has to deal with. All right, my Joe, so then Drake. No, I'm, glad, I'm glad you finally woke up. No, seriously, we're going to talk about Marissa Mendez now. Somebody that has supported you. Mendez alert. Um, somebody who's been there for you. And that out of the blue, because time out, time of something out. she slow didn't down. do, Let's you text down. her, Let's you're fired. Let's then I call down. you like, yo, you can't down. fire Marissa Mendez. Call her. She didn't do nothing. And you never called her. Nah. And well, then now. you want to go out and act like she opted to just not be on the program. You said so so many untruths. You listen, I know no, you want to get up here and act. I know you want to get up here and act. I know you want to get up here and act like you could outdo me said, on this radio said, thing. But well, it's it your ain't show, gonna so, so it won't. You won't it allow me to do it. No, All won't. right, so let's just hear Joe's side of the story, just to hear it. My side of what story? Exactly. He's gonna bullshit. He's gonna bullshit everybody in the room because I did call. Why? Why did you do that to? Why did you kick her off the podcast? I did not kick her off of the podcast. What happened? And listen. It was time to go different ways. That's some corporate bullshit. I've it said that to people. It, 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 it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard that. It was time, it was time to we're, go. We're going in a different the direction. We're going in a different yeah, direction. We're, we're going, AKA, yes, you're on my fucking we're, nerves. We're going in a. No, but, no, of course, money don't get on my nerves. So I, I would never do that. So what happened? You wrote. We your, went in different directions. No, no, no. The you same know, way you and I you went in different directions. Hey, you broke this little girl's heart. And I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm gonna tell you something else. Oh my god, you guys don't do that. No, don't do that because then it's gonna make it seem like I was really upset about it. Because to be honest, I was over it anyway. But the whole fact of the matter is, as a friend and as somebody that I've worked with for years, been friends with for years, I get a text message. You don't even call me and talk to me about no, it. No, it was done to talk about. Raging the machine. No. No. September. No. 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 We're, no. we're editing that out. <laughs> you were editing. No. 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 Hi, Deani. He was like, uh, no. We're editing. No. no. And I still haven't no. spoke to you, and that was a month ago. Marissa, do we speak every month? No, but do we speak? All right, speak? then what the fuck are you, you doing? You see each other every week, though. You yeah. would see each other on the podcast. And you don't call me to talk about I called you as soon as you texted me. I'm like, what are you even talking about? Because I wasn't even here when he spoke. I didn't even know what he said. And then you All get, right, I well, get that text from you. well, what he said got you fired. Okay. So why can't you call me and talk to me about it? Talk to you about what I don't Because I didn't even about. know what the situation was. There was no you situation. You don't want me to a call? I'm 36. What the fuck do I owe you? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you, I as a friend I, and as somebody no, I work with, no. you don't call somebody, you fire someone over a text school. message, that's how you do that? On a show we started together? On a show we started together? She just well, said she was over look, it. look, she's not evident. I knew I she was I didn't want to do the show <laughs> anymore, which is why I never followed up and called I'm, you ever again. I could have chased after lines. you. I could have tried to talk then about it. Then why are we talking about it here? Because, Raging the Machine, September. You put it's going down. Yesterday. A-Ram Music is in the no, building. No, Peter no, Rosenberg, no, Laura no, Stelfman, no, Marissa's no, here, Ebro's here, Beyonce, everybody's here. No? We're editing out? Hey, hey, who the fuck is on the board? I might ask you to press no fucking button. No, no, that doesn't work here, sir. There's only one person who gets to do that. That. Um, <laughs> but because you put it out on Twitter, and obviously she put what out on Twitter. No, no, whoa, put what out on Twitter? No, put on the podcast. On the podcast. Oh, on the podcast. podcast. Right. I was never going to address that because I love Monty and, and care about Monty. So I was never going to address it once she addressed it uh, on whatever platform she addressed it on. Laura uh, Styles and Proper was Etiquette influx, Podcast. There was an influx of mm. questions, so I so I addressed it. So you was gonna let it fly and just let it be quiet? Yeah, one hundred percent. Because if I were to address it, I wouldn't have anything good to say. Okay, so here, 
Okay. Well, there's, but there's a disconnect, Joe, right? And this is, I think, ultimately what probably my things with you come down to. Let's hear it. Is there's a disconnect in how you handle people you care about. Because so you say no, you no, care. No, no, it's not hold a on, disconnect. Let me, let, me just, let me explain my point. You just told us that you wouldn't want to ever say anything negative about Madi because you care about her. You love Marissa. I know that. Not you, publicly. Right. You would never yes. do that publicly. But at the same time, to just randomly, regard if it's because of something I did or whatever the thing is, to randomly send her a text that just says, you're fired, that's not how you handle someone you love either. Why not? Because that's inappropriate. It's just not a, that's not a way that people no, handle not. people they care about. Oh, you clearly haven't purchased enough EPMD albums. <laughs> that's not, I learned a lot from hip hop. Strictly business. Business. They were 17. You they were 17 not years old then. Any of the EPMD albums. How I Business handled, never personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's business is never personal. But we can go play kickball tomorrow. But I think you're lying. I'm gonna just go on about. Right I think you're lying. About. I think about. Just like you said, you fired her because of what Rosenberg said. That is exactly what which, happened. Which you and I spoke, you off, so you can't. Know. Right. Which pissed you off. Which pissed you. It pissed you off. But what does that have to do with Monty? Right. right. But what that didn't. Says. But my the point is, and the reason I say you're lying is because it's not just business, right? It was an emotional decision. Not true. That's not true. So what's the business? I because the I, business I, part, which I told you was, the business part is when you bring these conversations to the entertainment platform because that is what makes you as an artist something that people love because you've always been transparent about your personal life. I thought that was a good music. idea. When you said when you said that Ebro, Ebro suggested that um, I talk about it. I talk about it on the podcast. I talk about it with Marissa. I talk about it with Peter. Just discuss it on the podcast. It makes for great content. I thought that was a great idea when you said it. And then I hung up and said that would be embarrassing to Marissa. I'm not embarrassed. I didn't Why? do anything wrong. I she did nothing, nothing wrong. I don't feel any what type of embarrassment. I would have had to say regarding that subject pertaining to Marissa and Peter Rosenberg probably wouldn't have been the best dialogue. I don't me. know what you could. I, uh, Marissa, maybe there's something about Marissa part of this. I, I, don't, I don't know, know what know. you could have said that would have pertained to me that would have been upset. Well, it, from it what I know, what she's talked about on the podcast, there's not much you can say to embarrass her. Yeah, I don't I know. I mean, I know that she's talked about all type of orifices and this. And, 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 all right, chill. But yes, yeah, we get the idea. You feel what I'm saying? But like, I, I don't know. And there's nothing that's happened with me that I would be embarrassed about. There's nothing you could say. Why do you keep saying embarrassed? I, you is that the word I use? You implied that. You said that it made people feel bad. I don't imply. I say. I say. I don't imply. Hurt, 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 hurt. Anything I would have oh, said would have been. But I'm hurtful. saying you can't. There's nothing. Except there's for, a million. You're very easy to hurt because you're hypersensitive. Don't play on this uh, radio station. No, you're, you're right. You're I'm extremely very, easy to hurt, and during during your rants, right. you sound hurt. So don't tell me that me, someone who's good with words, cannot hurt you with words. You don't can. tell me that. You can. So but, I opted, but there wouldn't be truth to, to it. I could have gotten that. hurt. I would have been like, wow, that's mean, but it wouldn't have been truthful. Whatever. Truthful. There's I, nothing hurtful. I, there's I, nothing. I would have opted. I opted to not do that. But you did other things that were just as douchey. Which to is you. Where, to me. Well, like the like like a, a like a masterful uh true troll. He has accomplished stalling this conversation. Oh. Because because the things you're mad about, right, which is the reason you talked about it, is because you helped him start the podcast just like Marissa helped Why him. Why do you keep we have to stop with that too? What help? Yeah. Why? It's misleading. Why? If he hooked you up with a person that has a studio that you didn't have to pay for, that's helping. If she oh, supported dude, you in right, your endeavors right, to... Right, Ebro, we have two different definitions of help. That, no, that's called helping. I don't think there's any other way to, to do it. Mm -hmm. there's I, people, I, look, I'll, I'll give you an Peter, example. Peter the reason the rapper find a studio. Are you listening that's, to yourself? That's helping. That's helping But are someone. you hearing yourself? Yeah, but that's helping someone. You know, all right, Peter's not getting very much credit for helping a rapper find a studio. Okay. <laughs> well, a free one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that, that you're choosing. Let, that's let me one let piece. me let me ask let me let me ask you if you think that I don't have any free studios anywhere. But you use that one. I use that one because there was a plan that Peter abandoned. He failed to mention that on the radio. There's a lot that that, that people fail to mention. I just don't care to ever discuss it because I'm not that. But that's why. That I, was, but, but that's I didn't one even know I was topics. coming here to to discuss Peter and Marissa. I didn't even know Marissa. No, you a asked for mic. Pete to be here. I wanted Pete to be present. Oh, yeah, I'm glad we were part of the conversation. Yeah. But uh, let's just say this. I want, I always, I'm happy to see Pete. No, there's a lot of nuance to this whole thing, but I'll just say this. I mean this. You, to me, right now, mm -hmm. the way you're handling this conversation is unlike you to me. You're, you're, you're reaching, you're, you're stalling, you're not, you don't have, you know you're not <laughs> handling, you're not doing right by people who love you and have cared. Yo, okay, how about, let's, how about this? So I'm very direct. I don't care. You, you, uh, you don't, I don't, you don't care. You don't appear that way. I don't. I don't appear to what? To not care. 
You don't appear you to not care. care. I mean, you're being. Ridiculous. I don't care to have this conversation. I don't care you mean that, publicly. I don't or, care that. Period. But that, but that's just misleading. That's not true. So then you just don't care about. I haven't the, had the conversation. What do you mean it's not so true? So you don't care about the relationship with myself or Marissa whatsoever. No. Feel how y'all feel. I'm gonna feel how I feel. But that's that's even that is caring. Even that is I'm getting caring. confused. I just want to promote my album. I don't but you, care. you really don't, thought you were going to come here we were just going to straight promote the album and not talk about the elephant in the room? It wasn't the elephant in the but room But it is for us. Like the, you don't This I, is the room y'all are in every morning. Right. <laughs> it's a room that our team lives in, right? When you walked in, you're really the elephant. Yeah, you're the <laughs> elephant. <laughs> this is <laughs> Facts. I'll take it. You're exactly. actually the elephant in the, the room. <laughs> Raging the Machine, September. A-Rab Music is in the building. We got some do uh, uh, dope new music coming up for you. Not we, but... High 97, the morning show. Ebro in the morning. We got some more music coming up. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break. This is the elephant speaking, and we're going to get right to the it. The elephant speaking. Yeah, come on with this fuck shit. I don't care. I don't care. Marissa's sensitive. Peter's sensitive. Marissa feels away. I'm sensitive. Say, I'm sensitive. Away. Add you I to it. That. No, no, you said you, you said me and her are sensitive. Say, I'm sensitive. All right, I'm sensitive. All right, right let's at least start there. We have to at least start there. Literally, you took there. money out of somebody's pocket who you know is trying to pay their bills because oh, of something that they didn't off. try to do. Knock, that's not and my then, concern. She's an adult. That's crazy to say. It's not my business. Talk about not being hip hop. That shit ain't hip hop. Call it what you want. Call it what you want. Cutting your homies' money off and be like not talking to them about see, it. See, that's why I don't care I, anymore. But like, fi don't firing your tour DJ and be like, that. you're fired. You're it's, not on the road it's, anymore. It's difficult. If everybody here don't care, why are we still on this for ten minutes? <laughs> but we, I care. Who's? I never said I didn't care. Well, Marissa, Marissa said she Marissa didn't want to be on the podcast yeah, anymore. I she care cares about how fucked up the situation is, but I don't care about being on the podcast they, anymore. Great. See, see, but that's not the same thing. She does care personally. Obviously, she's been hurt by it for since it happened. Okay, so y'all could talk about it on your leisure. I'm surprised to see you're the same guy who just, who just critiqued Drake for not being real. And here we are. We're not being real. We're all microphones. Hypocrite. Cameras are here. We're not being real. I'm a darn hypocrite. <laughs> now, what you should say is what you what you could have said. And this is just my advice, because I have been in that situation before with friends where. Oh, being open to having the dialogue is always the best path because you don't want to leave what you've done. I don't know how many times, but because I'm not a part of your personal life, but. That's just burning bridges with people who could be your ambassadors. And I know at the stage of your career, you've been hurt by the industry. People have hurt you. Women have hurt you. Dudes you thought you could trust have hurt you. This person's hurt you, let you down, didn't keep their word. So you become the person that you are sitting right here, which is, fuck it, I don't give a fuck, Ebro, I'm gonna pay my bills. you're a really bad therapist. I'm not a therapist. I'm just telling you from experience. It's actually pretty good, though. I said I'm just remember. telling this you from experience a, that a, to leave at your age, this is a at really your age where you're going to have to make a transition, and it is going to at some point, to leave people in your path that tried to that tried to care about you, whether you wanted it or not, uh, being... I treat people bad that care about me. Uh, yes. That's Peter, Peter's sentiment. Uh, you heard that. That is, I, I feel very strongly about that. And you're not the only person I know like that. I just, you, I just, you push people away, the people who really love you, and, and kind of like Peter and Marissa. Yes. You don't shut the fuck up with well, this I've, fuck shit, man. Bro, I've been, I, I've, I've, I've been a friend oh through my. your annoyingness for many years. You've been a dick to me for many years. This didn't just start. You can be a dick often. That's part of your personality. I always call you Surly Joe. It's who you are. But consistently, right, think of it this way. Think of it this way. You know when a woman gives you her vagina? It's one of her most prized possessions, right? I'm she, following you. She says, you know what? I trust this guy. I like this guy. I like that. I like this guy. I'm going to give him my vagina, right? And let him do with my vagina and my body what he wants, okay? And you say, you know what? I like that. Right. You would do I it. say that? You probably not. Probably not. But in okay. your mind, I mean, you and obviously you went in. Your on penis it, so would you say it. Like your, it. your penis you would like say it. Okay, right. And so anyway, you go in on said vagine and whatever for whatever period you want. Okay. And then one day comes where you're like, eh, I'm over this. Okay. Yeah, right. She says, but I care about you. And you go. Oh, every man has been in this situation. But that's why I'm giving this the way you grew right? it. Right. I'm giving it I'm so following you it. You say, man, fuck this fuck shit, man. It's just vagina. It's just some sex. Block, like, block move number. on. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? You knew I didn't really want nothing serious. No, 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 no. You're not saying all that. Why? Are no, you in your mind. In your mind. Okay. You don't say that to got them, it, but it, in it. your mind. Just like right now to them, you're like, feel how you're going to feel. Oh, well. I've moved on. It is what it is. So be it. Right? Et cetera, et cetera. That's basically what happened is people gave you 
something their that vagina? they thought was no, basically their vagina. <laughs> it was important to them. I can handle. It. Don't worry, Sean. It was important. Shawnee's looking at me like Ebro's about to call you the world. He's the whole time coming like this. This is not a good setup. Shawnee's like, like, I don't care. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He's trying to think his language. He gave you their pussy. And you don't want it. You're like, it wasn't that important. But, but my point to, is, it was important to, um, to them. I listened to Peter's rant on 718. I listened to it multiple times. 718. I guess it was on the day on That the was the date. Oh, you remember dates well, because that's the second time in this conversation you brought up the exact date. Of Even something. for something he doesn't care about at all. For something he doesn't care about. I only know the date because I heard it on whatever uh, website y'all use that posts all the dates. Okay. But you still remember it. But whatever. Yeah, because I listened to it a million times and then I oh, let so all my care. friends hear it. Right, so oh, go. listen to it a bunch of times. Still don't care. Weird. Go. Well, y'all threw me off now. You said no, you said <laughs> he was too busy trying to dance. You kept, I told you you can't outdance me, man. You said I you said s- I listened to Peter's mul- rant multiple times on 718 and now right. I'm dancing. And listen, I think that I don't think that you guys are able to have an objective conversation number 1. Number 2, this podcast conversation is not a conversation I care to have, especially not early in the morning. Number 3, if Peter and or Marissa feel away, then there are other mediums for that to be discussed if it's going to be discussed at all. Number four, I certainly didn't get out of my bed away from a beautiful, soft woman to come up here. That's not even count. You have a beautiful, soft woman in your bed every single day. Yeah, yeah. That's just called your but pillow. I, 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 and, yeah, and, you have and, a pillow and, every and, night, yeah, Joe. But, and and, and <laughs> A-Rat, we not, we're not here for this. This is very minuscule. This is very minor. Uh, on the grand scheme of things. Interpersonal so, relationships are what indeed. It's another disrespectful thing to say. It, Again, interper- whatever, interpersonal relationships... You which you write about in your music, which mm-hmm. is what the Joe Brand, Joe Button brand is built on. Not on a new album. Well, yeah, but Raising people ain't heard that yet. Coming soon. They ain't heard that yet. Yeah, so September, so, September. Ho- hopefully no, people don't, don't will care. September, hopefully people September. will care, and like I've always done, I'll hopefully try to help you make people care, right? Um, you have. Thank you for that. Um, See, that's help. Not finding a studio for a rapper. Not <laughs> there's, not, there's, there's on, continue, the spectrum, please, on the spectrum. Continue, please. On the spectrum of help. Continue. That's your man, so you can't say. Did I tell you about the time? Did I tell you the time I called him and said, "Hey, I'm getting a job at ESPN. Maybe we should do a show together." And like, no, yeah. seriously, I want to bring you in to do that. And he said, and he honestly said, appreciate the honesty, but he was like, schedule-wise, I just don't know that's the kind of thing I could commit to. But like, ESPN is obviously the second biggest thing I've ever had in my life. And the first person that I wanted to call to say, do you, would you be interested in sharing this opportunity was Joe. Appreciate your honesty. I wasn't hurt by it. But I'm just saying, don't act as if you're not someone who I prior- prioritize Here, and think of an important Let me wrap this interview up. We're, we're, we're at, what's the album called? Because the, the album's called what? Rage. We'll cut. We'll Rage come. and the Machine. Ebro, I feel like. How does Zach De La Roca feel about this? There's chat from Rage me. Against the Machine. I don't know how he feels, Ebro. He's a nice guy. <laughs> you guys should consult him and maybe put him on a record. But I'm just saying, he's a great guy. Um, Next time I come here for an interview, send my manager the talk points because <laughs> this is a complete. <laughs> I'm serious. That's never happened with a Joe Button interview where he's been like, yo, send me the talking points before I get there. Well, now you can do that from here on out. Because I, right. didn't, I didn't know that this would be an utter complete waste of You should have known that. That's crazy. You no, didn't it was know just that. not a waste of time. Was, we talked about Drake for 10 minutes or five minutes. Then we talked about the album for and we, no, 30 we played seconds. your song. And then and we, we talked song. about Marissa and... and Peter for well, what else should show. we talk about? You want to talk about uh, just beats? Just, you want to talk about I, snares I want and hi hats? Talk about something <laughs> you want me to pull a rab up and talk about the Renaissance? That the NPC Renaissance? <laughs> yo, yo, what song you like are you the, on? A you rap? like the three thousand? Let's or talk you like software. The Renaissance, which one? <laughs> you got the new plugins? You got the new plugins? <laughs> yo, a rab, you got the new plugins? It's lit. Yo, the bar. Yo, the bar. You spit. Yo, this pattern you used. Hey, yo, rap fans, by the, the way, r- Ebro's mocking you how much y'all ever want to hear about every little <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. bar yo, that the, gets the, the about. percussion, the way you use your voice like a drum and the percussion and fell in the pocket at the end, <laughs> uh, so it was hard. Uh. <laughs> it was hard. I'm telling you, it was hard. I want to thank all of you for your time. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you, Peter. And thank you, Ebro. Thank you, thank board you guy, for, for the sound thank effects. You thank you, Diani. <laughs> Damn, Shawnee. Thank you, Shawnee. cameraman. <laughs> 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 See, super Yo, producer Shawnee. Super, <laughs> super producer Shawnee, dude. No, no, fuck that. Thank you, board man, <laughs> with your little <laughs> fucking effects. <laughs> that was Roseburg. That's right there. <laughs> That's his thing. Don't break it. It's his. It's his. Yeah, don't break no, my shit. Yeah. It would get really real. But always good to see everyone. Always good. What what should we have covered? I don't know. That's y'all job to talk about. <laughs> it's y'all job to figure out. I don't do a morning show. I do a podcast. Facts. You could have had a morning show. And and you did have a morning show. You did. At some point, I there was a morning it. show. I remember. Oh, I helped you with that. When you used to lay under the cabinet right here. 
I used to help you. Bye, Joey. Mm. Peace. Be good, man. Yeah, uh, we'll talk more album time. Thank you. Continue, man. You good? No, so no group picture. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. Just, no, no. I'll see him. I said. No, I'll see him. Won't. You keeping him away from me too? All right. I still have real late. Bye, Jason. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for having us. Um, Yo, he he he's wants he's gonna work with other people after he's done with you. That's why he's being nice. Oh, I was trying to figure it out. That was weird. No, it wasn't just Joe. Yeah, that got weird. Was I've never I've never seen him honestly. I've never seen him in that space where what he space was. Space is that dodging? He got flustered. Utterly dodging. Had no ground to stand on on anything. Acted as if you were just gonna come up here in spite of everything that happened, and we were just gonna be like, oh, it's time to promote your album. Like, yeah, but that's but you guys, that's his default. And look, if anybody believes that Joe Button is not coming back up here or doesn't want us to play his music, okay. Um, I think what what's happening is you have somebody who is who is deeply scarred by life and what he's done, and he right, doesn't know how it. to he doesn't know how to deal with. Haven't fact, we all been? Yeah, but he doesn't know how to deal with being wrong because he doesn't have to deal with it. He can write his rhymes, make his money, do his shows, and he doesn't have to deal with anything. Like, why does he have to deal with anything? Why does he have to? I, I, whatever. You know do you what? feel me? Yes, I do, but... But see, this is why I've been avoiding that conversation with him because I knew it would be this exact conversation, so I haven't called him. I haven't even tried to talk to him because this is what he does to everybody the, the, in his life. The character that people love and are so amused by... No, people love Joe for his no, ability to rap. No, no, but there Let's are... Be there's a, there, yes, you're right, but there is a pocket of emo fuckboys on the internet who they really like identify with all of his shit. Because and I get that. he can rap. Well, if he fine, could, fine, but what I'm saying is... But if he couldn't rap... Well, no, but they're, I'm telling you right now, they now listen. There's, there are people there who listen to his podcast and enjoy his whole shtick, which I get. I thought that's why I wanted to tell him this podcast because he has a great ability to share. If but Joe I'm just saying, couldn't rap, that's, that goes without he saying. Be He's a, famous because of rapping. Right, like, no, no, no. But my point is, is if let's say hypothetically he had to do something else, he would have to deal with these things to keep people around to support him. When you have a skill at a high level, people flock around you to support you no matter what you do. Speaking of which, did you? Um, I, I know I've met the guy before, but did you recognize Joe's manager? Oh no, it's because everyone around him is new. Ask yourself about when people have everyone new around them. Arab Arab's new to basically being his partner. His manager's new. Everyone's new. He doesn't give a fuck about us. And then you can ask yourself about who you think is misinterpreting the situation. The people who have known him for years and years, or the guy who now is sitting with all brand new people around him. Well, I, the reason I went into the vagina. Um, uh, uh, monologue. <laughs> the budget the <laughs> the monologues. was to was to paint a picture of men, which are really caring people, versus really like disconnected emotionally people. Right? Women tend to be very connected emotionally to how they feel and the people that they love more than men. Right? And that is a and and as a, men should figure it out though. No, but as you become you older, but the thing is that I don't believe that he doesn't care. Oh, I don't no, think that he doesn't of course, care. but his but his ego and his ability to act disconnected is all based in the fact that he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. It's kind of like men that it made me sad. I was like, mm. that made me sad too. And honestly, I don't think he's doing. It didn't well. make me sad. I actually wanted to laugh because I think he's lying. Well, no, me too. Lying. But you, I don't, he's not doing well. No, that Johnny, your your uh, board guy. What were your thoughts? Yeah. What were your sound thoughts? Well, he was sound dead. ops. Yeah, I know. Soundboard man. Sound effect. Soundboard man. man. What did you think? He was very disconnected, very flustered. At the end, you guys got him. He, his whole face turned red, and he's hiding. He's hiding the whole time. He was hiding everything I listened to, everything he said. He was dodging and hiding behind this veil of the internet and troll that he he speaks of. And when you say that people like him because he makes great records, he doesn't make a bunch of great records. He raps okay. He doesn't make great songs. But I'm just saying. No, 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 but listen, no. Genuinely speaking, he doesn't make a bunch of great songs. He came out a very long time ago. Johnny feel goddamn disrespected. However, he's very good on the internet. Look, he's good on the internet. He gets. A lot of attention. God, he, he is good with words. He is good with going words. Going somewhere else. All right. But he's hiding. He's hiding. I feel bad for Arab. He broke night to be here, and then he just came in. And Yo, Arab. Well, by the way, do we even know Arab was coming? No. He wasn't no. even booked. This wasn't even booked to be both of them. Well, and that's why Joe's a liar because when I hit him about coming up, right, he knew I was hitting him. He was the first thing he said, which I didn't bring up because he was already dancing. The first thing he said was, "If Pete will allow it." 
was his first response. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean the video that he watched thousands of times? Right. right. On a specific I, day. Guys, you want to know what not caring is? I don't remember what I said that day. He watched thousands of times. By the way, I do, and I'm telling you, I do care. So help me understand. Uh, it, I've the, never even done I've never even done this um, much analytical discussion <laughs> after I've done it. I'm telling you my number one thing. And that just shows you how much of a... We don't no, get no, no, to it. How about this? That just shows you how deep the relationship is between myself and Joe, right. High 97 and Joe, you guys and Joe, and the entire thing. Like, it's, we it's consider Joe family. No, it's, 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 and truly at that point, at the end, he was in a place where he was so bad that I didn't want to get to where I wanted Yo, to. Yo, he be. insinuated on the way out that he wasn't going to come back to promote the album. Yeah, I, I know. Where are you going, bro? The fucking Breakfast Club? Because they play mad rap down there. Yeah. And yeah. they're going to have your rage in the machine no, no, on. No, no, no. He's going to go there uh, to the place that called, called him, him a woman, a beater. woman beater. He'll go yeah. there and treat them like royalty and then come be a dickhead to your family. That's what my problem with Joe is. And then his response to you is, you're not my family. I don't fucking care. Joe, if you were my fucking family, I would have been upset when you did my wife's podcast and I listened to you berating her. He, I listened to my wife and no, it wasn't disrespectful because there's a trust that I have with him. So when him and my wife are fighting about sports and he's like, blah, 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 fucking blah, blah, blah. You realize how much trust it is in me that I heard that and didn't even get upset? I'm like, I know, Joe. He's It's my wife, and he's having a legitimate argument the way he does with people he cares about. That's trust I have for you. So for you to turn around and sit next to me and say, I don't give a fuck about blah, blah, blah. Why'd you go do my wife's podcast at 7 in the morning? And why did I not care when you're fighting with her on it? Because you're family. And now you're being a fucking dick. And you're being called out and you have no response. And I'm telling you, he's not doing well. It didn't bring, I couldn't bring myself to saying it, but he doesn't look good. He wasn't acting right. It, he, there's something off with him. His whole team is fucking different. And I've said my piece. So like, I hope he figures it out. I, I, he's a great person and he's smart and fucking great for music and hip hop. I hope he figures his shit out. But I can at 37 with the amount of shit I have going on and have been through personally already with my own family that are important. Go through it with Joe over and over again. So God bless. I, I'm not just f saying this fake. God bless you. I really hope you fucking figure it out and get the people around you who care about you and stop treating the people who love you like shit. Well, that's what Drake said in the in the DM. Yo, Drake's DMs, which by the way I won't tell you what he said and be disrespectful, but J Joe completely misinterpreted that. Drake was like extended a hand. And Joe was a fucking dickhead back, and Drake kind of slapped back and was being a little bit of a dick back, but still would have made up, I mean, vintage Drake, being an asshole, but also still nice enough to be your friend. And Joe took it left. Yeah, I read it. He took it left. Mm -hmm. Which, as he did with us, he's taking shit left. So, I do want to make it clear, though, I really didn't want to do the podcast anymore, so I just don't <laughs> want those comments. Like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Like, no, no, I, I think I understood very well what you meant. He didn't. That you can be emotional about it because you care about him and yeah. also think, frankly, the show has gone to a place that you're not necessarily interested it's in. The Drake cast and I'm and, cool and, on it. And, you're, <laughs> and, and, no, and your role had sort of been reduced, in, in my opinion, too mm -hmm. much and whatever. I mean, who, I know I don't care. I didn't do anything to help. By the way, all you said was I set up the thing. You didn't talk about when he came over to my house and we sat around and planned how it would work and talked about what makes a podcast good and went to the first six episodes and we didn't talk about it. He didn't count that. He wanted me to somehow be, uh, make it my full-time job uh, for, for free. Oh, I, I, oh, did he mention the part where I set him up with advertising? Oh, he didn't mention that part because Eric... My advertising guy, who does Juan Epstein and does a great fucking job, handles advertising for Joe. And that split, how it works, is Eric and the Joe Budden podcast. Do you know what I get? Nothing. Ever. Me and my brother said no, even though I was trying to start a fucking network. Didn't take any advertising money. So... Treat me like shit. I'm not one to help. And I, this, we've seen, we see whatever, we've seen it a million times. Ebro, right. you talk about it all the time. People, all right, let's you know what? I and know. here's another thing. <laughs> and I just wanted, to, I'm not upset. I just wanted to put out there at least all the shit that wasn't getting said there. Because when you can be like, well, Peter didn't help. He just did blah blah blah. Joe, you're fu you're lying. You're just lying, or you're unclear about what help is. And you want to be friends with the people who are dicks to you, and you don't care about the people who are friends to you. Well, I think, and I, but I think in that is he wants to be cool with people that can forward his business and that's it. Well, that's fucked up. Let's just call it what that's it is. That's fucked up. If I did that, you know what I get called? A fucking Jew, fucking Jew bag, money grubbing. Culture that's what vulture, I get called. Vulture. Culture vulture piece of shit. He vultured the fuck out of me and then was like, I don't even care about you. It's all about raising the machine. 
By the way, you know there's a group called Rage Against the Machine, right? They're one of the biggest that's rock bands. That's the whole point. I know, but it's, but it's weird. I mean, it is, it's weird. I wanted to know if he talked I, to them. No, you were being serious. Like, you should probably talk you to him about that. You should probably talk to them. Exactly. That's, we, that's okay. Because they have fans. What? You think? They're popular. Oh, slightly <laughs> passionate fans, too. Last time I checked. Aren't they, like, world famous? I'm uh, yeah. Yes. Maybe. Revolutionary. You might have heard of them. You might have heard of them.